Welcome to today's installment of One of a Kind. This video is being brought to you by SRT4 Gear. One of the very few aftermarket support companies. If you have a caliber or neon SRT4, go check out srt4gear.com. SRT dash minus sign, whatever you want to call it, for gear.com. I always forget the dash. Now, do me a favor, if you drive a SRT4, take a second and like the video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your coilovers to bags over coils, coilovers. These specifically are gecko coilovers, also available for purchase at srt4gear.com. However, if you have a set of coilovers on your car already, then these bags can be made for yours. A lot of you have probably already seen a video that has to do with this type of bag. This is not only what makes it special that this kit is actually in front of me right now, that rear bag is where you're gonna probably learn something today. Unless you have a lot of knowledge or history doing airbag setup. On the left side over here, I have the rear. This is everything that you're no longer going to be using on the rear and then in turn here's a finished front here's one that i'm about to do for you guys this is what you're actually going to be removing from the coilover now don't go and lose this stuff throw it away sell it give somebody one of your springs for a badass hood prop because this allows you to go back to being static should you get tired of air. Something goes wrong and you can't afford a bag at the moment. So this is probably the best option, in my opinion, to have options if something goes wrong. Okay, the first thing you wanna do, now these are brand new coilovers, so the preload might not have been what yours will be set at if these are on your car. Undo the preload by loosening up this collar some. So to remove this dampening adjuster, you put in the Allen wrench, lefty loosey, righty tighty, pops right off. As I take stuff off of the coilover, I'm literally putting it in line of how it goes on. So I can start at the bottom and put that back on. Undo this top nut. Off the adjustable camera plate. That piece is called that washer. The spring and the boot will come together. This very first collar, we're getting rid of it completely. This collar is going to stay on. The next thing you need is some of that anti-seize. You're gonna grease the threads here where it goes and right up here at this notch. O-ring that comes with your bags. Get a little of that grease on it to right there. Now take a look at that because it's important for the placement to prevent leaks. Take the bag, slide it on. Now these threads are so big. If your coilovers happen to be used, you definitely wanna make sure you clean out the threads really good. And you're gonna screw this bag down until you've turned it to where it will not thread anymore. It should be an inch and seven eighths from the base, perfectly in line with the top here. Screw that walking collar all the way up to it. Okay, so now we're gonna put this back together and we're gonna start with this. So I slide that down.
take this top nut again. This is a straight fitting. I'm saving the 90s for the rear. Put it on hand tight. Then, grab that and go another full turn. So I made this little contraption that has some of your airline hooked onto this. It's right now leak testing to make sure that this is good to go and be put on the car. Okay, so I got my little contraption hooked up. That bag is pumped up. Now, while I have it pumped up with some air, so I have a little leak here. So with the Teflon tape on and that added, if that happens, take your wrench and cinch it up a little more. Okay, so when I sprayed this the first time, I was seeing bubbles. If that happens, you can tighten it up more, spray it again. Now, if you tighten it up to the point where you feel like you're about to create some damage and it's still bubbling, back it all the way out and try again. Put more air in. That air noise is coming from my hose itself. I sprayed the top. No blasting bubbles. Get in here. No blasting bubbles there. So this is ready to go on the car. Now, put your dampener knob back on. There's a little hole in the side with the Allen wrench. Right there. Moving on to the rear. Same thing I did in the front. I'm going to take this stuff off and place it in order. Before the bump stop can come out, you're gonna have this little metal sleeve washer. Get rid of it. Bump stop. You're gonna take this top, this comes off. These two are going to stay. Add some grease here to the threads. The good part about I go all the way around, but when you go and screw this bag on, it's going to it's going to spread this out for you. Again, if you're doing this on a set of used coilovers, take a wire brush and clean out all these threads first. This is important too. Right up here, where this metal one was that held the bump stop on, you're gonna grease up here. Bring the O-ring down. And make sure that it's seated in that groove where that little metal one was. Take your rear, slide your bag on. Now this is probably the most important threaded thing you're ever gonna screw in your life. So make sure that it goes on and starts with ease. 
Keep screwing this sleeve bag on until it bottoms out. You cannot screw anymore. Locking up, back up. You gotta pull parts off of this, this piece in particular. Now, this goes through this hat and then this is on it. You're gonna take a flathead screwdriver or anything really to wedge this up and off. And we're gonna use this, the top piece. You're also going to be going back to get these screws, but we'll talk about that in a minute. All right, you're gonna push this down so that this comes through. You're gonna take one washer off of the pile over here, the skinnier one, and the nut. And put it on just so the nut has enough to grab thread. Attach your line and start to add some air. It's gonna leak out the top because it's not. See that? There's still a leak up top, which doesn't let it build too much damaging pressure. But now, this is rolled perfectly onto that sleeve. So, I'm gonna back this off, and watch what happens when the air, if there's any air left in it, because there's a gapping hole, it rolls down on that sleeve. Now, that we have the bag properly rolled on. We're gonna back this nut off up here. That small washer's on there. Push it down until you can't push it no more. Take that rubber bushing piece, so it's going to assist. Fully tight, it's about two threads being exposed. The bag is still rolled on this lower sleeve. Now this is sealed up that it's not gonna leak air. So we're going to attach our temporary air again. Give it some air. See that? So, let's check. No bubbles. So that's good. Check the top. Nope, it's not popping bubbles anywhere. Okay. So now I'm airtight up here and here and that is properly rolled onto this lower sleeve. If you were to just, if you weren't, if you to skip this process and just put it on the car without doing that, it's, you're not guaranteeing that you're gonna get this. So I highly recommend bench testing for air leaks and to do the proper rolling of that bag on it. Last, but certainly not the least, we're gonna need to transfer this hardware over here. So you put that down on the ground. Now, 
you have bolts that don't have a tip like that, you can't just directly beat on them or you will potentially ruin the threads. And here we have it. First ever made specifically for a caliber SRT4 airbag setup. Now, if this is the first time you've tuned in, let me take a second and show you what those are going on and what else is happening. Two thousand eight caliber SRT four, already heavily modified, lots of carbon fiber, lots of original parts, and right now I'm actually fabricating a wide body for it. And this air ride is going to allow me to take it places I would have never dreamed possible. And that's going to wrap it up for this installment, guys.